What is going on guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. My name is Kyle and today we have a, another collection video for you all because I know how much you all love them. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll flip the screen over, get packed up and head on out. Alright, so here I am uh, packing everything up. I actually ended up uh, putting some of the candy in this one and then I ended up deciding to just go ahead and load everything up in the bigger cooler uh, because I feel like I could maybe be able to fit everything but I wasn't sure uh, but I do manage to uh, fit everything in that one cooler except for just one little container of Skittles that had just a few left over which I ended up not really even needing anyway um, I definitely rather bring more product than I need to than less than I need to just to be safe uh, because I've made that mistake before that I go to a location that needs product and I don't have the product to put in the machine so definitely want to avoid that going forward. Alright, I uh, just got done at the first place. Uh, it's been sitting there for about two months. Uh, it's a hair salon so feels like there might be about 25-30 bucks in there. Uh, not quite as much as I was hoping for considering it's been like there for two months. Uh, but let's go ahead and open up and find out exactly what's in it. So I went to the next one. Uh, it was actually right next door. And there was only $12.75 in it after I paid them their commission. So not thrilled about how good these locations are, especially considering they're about... 45 minutes away from my home out 35 minutes from my next closest location so I'm definitely gonna keep the locations but I'm gonna be putting them on three month cycles so I'm just gonna leave them for three months and then go check up on them again because I don't want to spend this much time energy and gas going up here for just you know 15 25 bucks, you know less than 50 bucks altogether. That's you know hardly worth my time Especially once you factor in food costs and everything like that. Anyway time to head back There's a few more hair salons. I got to hit so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right Just went to another barber shop uh, Only like 875 after commission. So definitely another one that I'm gonna be pushing to a three-month cycle uh, Now I am actually pretty excited because I'm going to another barber shop but this one has been here for three weeks to a month and I haven't checked it at all yet. It's a brand new location. So we're going to uh, see how it does. Hopefully it does well. Um, 20, 30 bucks would be amazing. More, that would be great. Uh, and even if it's less, you know, that's okay. It's a location nonetheless. So let's go ahead and head over there and check it out. All right, just got out of the barber shop that uh, I'm collecting for the first time got the thing here haven't opened it up quite yet it is indeed a zero commission location so that's definitely awesome and on top of that it does feel pretty heavy uh probably a good 30 bucks maybe 40 bucks in there so definitely really happy with that gonna go ahead and flip the screen over and count it out for you guys all right counted that all up for you uh 3150 altogether so very happy with that for about uh, one month maybe a little less actually so looks like we scored ourselves a pretty nice location here Hopefully it continues to uh, sell at that rate. Uh, we'll just have to uh, wait and see All right, just put up at the next spot. This one is a hair salon uh, It's been here for about two months and is just gumballs uh, I only checked this spot one other time before and I think that was after two weeks and there was like uh, I want to say like six bucks or something like that in there, maybe less. I don't remember for sure, but I expect there to be anywhere between 10 and 20 bucks, hopefully towards that $20 mark, but we'll just have to see. Hello. Good, good. Okay, um, not great, but I'm okay with it. Uh, 12.50 for the two-month cycle. Um, 
Can't really complain too much though, just gumballs. Uh, super high profit margin, so uh, probably most of that's profit, probably about 11 bucks, because uh, gumballs only cost me 2.7 cents a piece. But they said that uh, they wanted some peanut M&Ms, so next time I come in there, I'm gonna switch it out for a double head and put peanut M&Ms and uh, gumballs in the other one. I think that the sales will definitely increase because they said they like the gumballs. So hopefully the peanut M&Ms will really increase the sales here. I think they will. Uh, just got that kind of feeling, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. All right, just got done in there, uh, topped off the product, and went ahead and changed out the coin bank. I'll count that up for you guys in just a second. This one is definitely feeling pretty heavy, so I'm thinking this one's got a good 40, 50 bucks maybe would be really awesome, but I feel like there's definitely at least 40 bucks in there. I'll go ahead and flip it over, uh, count it out for you all, and then uh, we'll head on home and uh, check out the total for the day. Look at that, all those quarters in that one spot. Very happy with that. Let's go ahead and see exactly how much it was. All right, very nice, 52.25 from that location in just over a month. It was like a month and nine days or somewhere around that time frame. But it's definitely always very nice when the locations are even more than you expect, so that's very awesome. Uh, gonna go ahead and head home now and count everything up, give you all the grand total. I wish I was able to get a little bit more footage of me uh, unlocking the machine and filling it up and everything like that, but it's definitely a lot harder uh, when I'm by myself. Maybe once I get some more help and have someone come along on these routes with me, it'll be a lot easier for me to get footage that way I can film well the other person goes ahead and services the machine uh, we'll just have to wait and see for that and then another thing to keep in mind is today at the time of recording this is indeed Friday so uh, definitely a lot of the places had some more people in it and I try not to film when there's a lot of people around because it does make people uncomfortable just trying to be a little bit mindful there but anyway time to head home count everything up and see what the grand total for the day was <laughs> won't come out but uh, uh all right here we go this is the total for the day go ahead and empty it out definitely not a bad pull there so gonna go ahead and count everything up and see exactly how much it is uh, definitely over a hundred bucks here uh, I was going to be happy with 100 but I'm pretty sure this is probably closer to about 150 so definitely very excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and roll everything up and then uh, give you a total recap for the month because this is going to be the last collection for the month. So give you a total breakdown on how much I made altogether from my vending business this month. All right, here we go. Rolled everything up, got everything counted. Um, this right here is $20. Uh, I actually ran out of the quarter tubes, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait to deposit those. Uh, and then I have another $1.25 here, and $120 that's rolled up. So $141.25 for just a few hours of work. Very happy with that. Time to head over to the bank and get all my quarters for the entire month deposited. Ended up being a grand total of this plus 510 that is in the other room. And for a grand total of the month for $650. So very happy with that. Uh, and then, you know, some change of course, but Altogether, $650 for the entire month. So gonna go ahead and get that all together and head over to the bank and deposit all the quarters. And that's also going to just about wrap up this video. I'll go ahead and head into the other room, show you the rest of the quarters I have for the month. 
There you go. But yeah, that's going to just about wrap up the video. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure you guys hit that like and a subscribe button if you haven't already. And definitely leave a comment down below as well. Uh, love talking to you all. Anyway, guys, I will catch you all in the next one.